So we're drinking Michel Chapotier's new venture in Australia, so a new world version of his style Syrah. Um, this is coming from Victoria region and really excited to see what he's doing in the new world. Straight away actually on the color, you see that it's, it's quite darker than his Rhone style wines. Um, it's a little bit more purple, a little bit more opaque and darker. I think I'm expecting it to have a little bit more concentrated fruit um, on the palate as well. The nose is really attractive. It's very aromatic. There's a lot of more darker fruits here, kind of black currant, blueberry pie, um, a little bit of eucalyptus and mint as well, which is really nice and new and different from you know what you would get in his Rhone style Syrah. The palate is really luscious. It's vibrant. It's juicy. Again, very very dark but it has lots of kind of um, complexities to it. Lots of dark fruits, a little bit of that gentle supported oak here, and again, that kind of freshness of the mint, the eucalyptus is really coming through. I think it's a, a brilliant example of kind of old world meets new world because it still retains some of that kind of rustic um, edginess and that kind of, um, a little bit of the earthy tannins are still there, so it's really quite nice. Happily um, drink it on its own. I think it's very smooth and easy going, but I think, um, with food, it would also go quite well. Um, it's kind of, it is kind of like a new style Rhone. It would probably go very well with grills, with roasts, any kind of kind of rich meat dishes. And probably you can lay it down for a little while longer. I think it's definitely got a long way to develop, but drinking beautifully right now. Four stars from Decanter, very well deserved and interesting, interesting project. Click on the bottle of your choice for an individual tasting review.